I miss my wife tales. Have you ever seen that? <laughs> no? What is that? You haven't seen- <laughs> You haven't seen that? There's a- Hold on. I miss my wife tales. Okay, well while you look that up, I did see a, uh, a TikTok today where they were like- Snap cube. Okay, they were, they were like ad-libbing, uh, tales, like, it was like, Oh wow, Sonic, we can use these ramps! Have you ever thought about killing yourself? <laughs> it was like, whoa, oh. whoa! I've I've seen that. <laughs> Those are two different things. That's just okay. like, um, I think it was like Sonic Boom. They mm. um, those were it was actual uh voice recordings. Like they actually put it in where like Sonic said, um, wow, these look like ramps. And then Tails right after is like, we could use these as ramps. And then somebody like AI voiced, or they just voiced Tails himself, and they're like, <laughs> they're like, have you ever thought about? It? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's the uh, one. But I'm uh, what I was referencing was Snap Cube. It's a this is the channel that uploaded it, but it's a group of people that um they just dub over the cutscenes of like old Sonic games. It's so funny. Oh, isn't isn't there a guy uh, Jet with a H, J H or something that does that too? Or are we talking the same dude? I have no idea. I just know that the channel that uploads it is Snapcube. Okay, so we, you check out Snapcube, and then you check out J-E-H-T-T. I wonder if it's in the description. Cast below. Uh, no, I think they're different. Okay. Unless they're in, like, another episode, but... Go on. Tell me more. <laughs> it's just a bunch of... They, they dub over, like, Sonic Adventure 2 and, like, Shadow the Hedgehog. And um, Sonic 06, and it's just, it's so funny. Uh, also, welcome everybody to the Bungetti cast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you. Uh, if you would like to have your name at the end of uh, the podcast episodes and regular YouTube videos, as well as early content, uh, some extra goodies, uh, go go check check out my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Eddie Bungetti. Um, and there's a lot of good stuff there. There's like full resolution artworks, behind the scenes, extended stuff. I mean, not so much those two, but it's uh, it's cool. If you want to support the, the project, uh, you want to support me, go check that out. Now, anyways, back to Sonic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, <clears throat> there's there's one, one clip that uh, was really funny too. Um, from Sonic 06, where it's like, oh, what's his name? Methylees? Or oh, Mephistopheles? That, that's like the purple, the purple shadow, but not shadow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's like talking to Silver and, uh, oh, what's the, what's the cat's name? Blaze? Blaze the cat. Yes. Uh, they're like all talking in this layer. <laughs> and Mephylees was like, Girls don't actually want to be your friends, and and Silver was like, I mean, I'd be I'd be friends with a girl, and then Mephiles is like, well, that just makes you a beta male cuck. <laughs> they don't care about our feelings; they just want to use us. Oh and like, God. <laughs> it's it's so funny. I'll have to link it to you so you can absolutely. There's something about just like. <laughs> Like these, like furry little cartoon characters, just going into the these really like in depth like bullshit things that just tickles yeah, and, tickles my brain just the right way. And they make like lore and stuff that doesn't actually exist. <laughs> but uh, the person that voices Eggman Robotnik uh, is is just so funny. There's like the uh, the one where he goes, "I miss my wife." Tales. Like, it's just silent between the two of them, and Eggman's the first one to speak up, and he's like, he sighs and says that. And then there's like, who leaked my nudes on Twitter.com? Because <laughs> he's like in a room surrounded by a bunch of like monitors, and he's freaking out. And uh, there's like, <clears throat> he's talking to Shadow <laughs> oh. on like over like a comm or something. I think that's Sonic 2. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Shadow's like, should I punish him? And then Sonic's like, yeah, you should punish him real hard. And then Eggman goes, why is Sonic on the villain line? 
<laughs> and it's just, it's, you know, me saying this doesn't quite do it justice, but those are, they're so funny. So I got, I got two things to say on that. Um, yes. I, I think we are actually talking about the same guy, but maybe this is like the channel that just has the clips. Um, Cause he also, maybe. he also does like Star Fox dubs, but like they're edited so well that they change like the like the the subtitles or whatever like the text of when everybody's talking to oh. like line up legit and uh there's it's one where work. it's like star fox is fighting um star wolf he's like pigma pigma what pigma balls oh! pigma. <laughs> pigma's so embarrassed is that the actual character's name? Yes, it's Pigma Dengar, that's, dude. That's so funny. I could I, I could <laughs> recite the whole Star Fox 64 lore if you give me about an hour. We could just we could hash into it. It's <laughs> sick. All I know is Fox McCloud and Falco and Slippy and Peppy and Ampharos. Ampharos. <laughs> Good lord. And that's it. That's that's all I know. What about uh, uh cat, Rob the robot? Rob the robot. Um, um, cat, cat the cat with a K. Um, Bill, Bill the dog. <sighs> Bill, Bill. I Bill. I know I can, <laughs> I can picture these guys in my head, but and yeah, then there's like the DS game, and it it got like weird. There, like Slippy had like kids and shit. Uh, it was <laughs> whoa. It kind of went off the deep end. There's like I don't know. I might be exaggerating, but I swear to God, there's like 20 different endings to that game. 20? Yeah. But uh, oh, anyway, okay. anyway, not not to derail the Sonic talk, um, do, do you ever just... I'm done. Oh, well. Get a load of this! Okay, so Sonic Adventure 1. You ever just as a yeah. kid, you just like, I don't know, just, just certain things you hear and they're just stuck in your brain for the rest of your life? So when you, when you fight Eggman... And I can't remember which boss fight it is. It's the, uh, like the egg dragon or something where he's like dive bombing you, and he and he just keeps shouting, "Get a load of this! Get a load!" But it 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 sounds a little muddy. Get a load of this! Get a load of piss! Get a load of piss! Oh, and that's I didn't. That's just I actually in my brain. didn't play the first one growing up. Um, you didn't play the one with the with the water guy, and the chaos. No. I, I mean, I have played it, but I, not really. Um, I had the second one growing up, so who yeah. needed the first game? Tr fair enough. I, I rented <laughs> Sonic uh, DX like after the fact, but Sonic Adventure 2 was the like two battle for GameCube. That was the very yeah. first game that like I bought, you know, saving my allowance, big boy money. I went up to the local Walmart and I paid for this like sixty dollar game in fucking loonies, toonies, Dang. and quarters. And that's they, a lot they of, took it. It's a lot of toonies. So that's heavy. That's that's gold coins, baby. It's like thirty toonies, bro. What? <laughs> but it was probably heavier than that because you had other change. Damn right. Jingle jingle. <clears throat> yeah, uh, my friend bought uh Sonic Adventure Two Battle used at GameStop for like fifteen bucks. <sighs> Good. But that was like a couple years after Sam had it too. Oh so, yeah. So I mean, I played it a lot. That was the first Sonic game that I actually like really played. Cause I mean, I've played like Sonic One on like the fucking Game Boy Advance. One of my friends had it, but I didn't like really play it. Oh, like the like the Genesis ones, but like it was on GBA. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. Yeah, Sonic One doesn't like to me. It doesn't hit that that good. But Sonic Two. Sonic 2 hit feels good. Like, I like that one a lot. Tails. You got tails, dude. But again, it's it's like nostalgia goggles from childhood. Because uh, where I was from, we had this place. It was uh, It's called the Toy Library. So, the, like, the name's pretty self-explanatory. But uh, my mom would, like, take us there. And you could, like, just straight up rent a Sega Genesis. And just play it for a week. A whole console. Yeah, like it was sick. Like, and it wasn't like a rental store or whatever. Like, I think you, I, I'd have to ask, but you might have to pay for like a membership. But like, you weren't like a like paying like you would at like a like a Hollywood Video or something. Um, oh, you just took it. You just fuck. Yeah, you just took it. So we would uh, borrow the Whoa. Genesis for a week. You play like Sonic Two. You play like Echo the Dolphin. All the classics, man. Yeah, dude, you guys are so lucky. 
you got libraries lending you triple <laughs> a video games that just came out and back in the day whole systems and none of that my library has books <laughs> <laughs> who has, who reads these days god yeah but actually that's, that's funny question. you mentioned that it just goes to show like like small town alberta uh actually maybe has a few good things going on for it so it's pretty epic view. nice that is kind of, I mean, if I do say so myself, that is kind of epic. So, big, big Sonic question, though. Uh, <clears throat> thoughts thoughts on Big? Big the cat? Yeah. Froggy? Uh, eh. I love you, Froggy. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's written for me, you know? No, really? <clears throat> Maybe if I was like a child, I would like him. Perhaps. But, you know, he says like two words and that's it. Like froggy? Yeah. He just looks for froggy. Come here, froggy. I also love how those Dreamcasts, uh, Sonic games that were re re released on GameCube, the, uh, the music was always so much louder than their voices that you just couldn't understand anything they were saying. Oh yeah, and also the lip flaps yep. were crazy, especially in, in the first one. Yeah, the dubs are goofy. The lip flaps are bad. Um, sometimes I don't know if it's like a programming issue or it's just like how the characters talk over each other. It, yeah, it's a yeah. little whack. God, like a, there's a in Sonic Adventure Two. I think it's the boss fight with you're you're playing as Rouge, the bat, and you're fighting against Knuckles, and he just keeps going like, "Oh no, mm. oh no." Yeah. Oh he, no. Oh he no. Just beat the crap out of him. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, those those fights were felt wrong. They felt like they just didn't work right when you were doing like the character battles. I I think everything about 3D Sonic is not <laughs> is not built the way it's supposed to. They're like, we want we want Sonic to go really, really fast, but then we're gonna add platforming sections that require you to slow down. And then oh now you have to do these boss fights where you have yeah. to carefully like pinpoint your location and where you're going. It, I don't know. I actually prefer 3D Sonic over 2D Sonic though. Controversial. Um but I don't know, 2D Sonic, I feel like you can't really see what's ahead of you as much. And it's I true. get it, because 3D Sonic, you have to be like really careful sometimes, and it's weird, but you can see what's going on. Um, that being said, like 3D Sonic, where you just hold the boost button and run around tracks that go spiral around, like that's not really playing a game, <laughs> but... Yeah. yeah, it's not really playing a game, but at the same time... I wouldn't complain. I'm a, you know, like I'm just yeah. like, wee. That's true. It looks pretty. Um, but yeah, Sonic. Sonic games are like almost never good, but it's still such a huge franchise. It's crazy. It is. And nine times out of 10, if there's a new 3D Sonic, Sega has my money already. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try it. Did I'm you play try. Frontiers? I I did. I I haven't completed the the DLC, and I can't even really tell you what the hell it was. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It it was kind of fun, but I just uh, I don't think it needed to be an open world. You know, mm. I don't think Sonic yeah, ever needed I, to be open world. Yeah, I didn't play it. Don't sweat it. But we all we all know my stance on open world games. I mean, I'm sure Sonic's different, but. Uh, I will say the music in Sonic is top tier. I'm a sucker for the, the good old Sonic butt rock. Yeah, dude, the Knuckles stages, the music is so nice. What up, this Pumpkin is Pumpkin Hill. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's such a vibe. There's like one that's like really edgy. It's uh, so give me the emeralds or die. I don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or die. Let me look Dang. it up. Is it is it the is, what's the water drippy one? You know what I'm talking about, Sonic Adventure Two. I know the level you're talking about, and that song is also a bop. Um, I reposted a video that had that song in it, uh, like a month ago, but. <clears throat> Yeah, 
it's it's all the music's what really sets it apart and maybe that's why it's lived so long it's gotta be it's just everybody's loving the music and they they want it to be a good game <laughs> and then it isn't oh oh my bad it uh wild canyon has got the lyric i was thinking oh okay Give up the emerald or die. I don't love you. <laughs> I don't love you. This is Knuckles and I'm back. I've been away for a while, but I'm back to kick some butt at Wild Canyon. <laughs> Who wrote this? Is that really yes! the lyrics? I shall Bro, find all the lost what? pieces of the master emerald here. I'm going to get those fools. They want to play with the emeralds. They playing with the wrong guy. So here's the entire synopsis of the game. Uh, I am Knuckles. I have to get all of the pieces of the emerald and put them together to create the master emerald. Uh, there's somebody else that's after it, but I'm not going to let them have it because this is all mine. Yeah, pretty much. And if we're going to oh, talk okay. about Knuckles lyrics, um, Knuckles' main theme from Sonic Adventure 1 uh, rings in my in my head. Uh, where is the Where is the lyric here? Uh, here I come, rougher than the rest of them. The best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. <laughs> that's, wow. that, that, that's it. All of Knuckles' songs are just about how cool he is. <laughs> he's, he's, he's very cool. And Sonic is rolling around at the speed of sound. A place has to go. <laughs> Follow my rainbow. Hey, Peter. Come do you know on. what? Yeah, what? Do you know Tails' real name? Yeah, dude. It's, uh, it's kilometers. It's, yeah, it's kilometers per hour. Yeah. No, oh, it's, it's miles. So goofy. Miles, miles per hour. Miles per hour. What a guy. Did you ever play the the uh, airboard ones? Sonic Ride, Sonic Riders, Riders, Riders. yeah, I got had the green bird and the and the gray bird and the pink bird. <laughs> so I played the one on Connect. Oh, <laughs> gross! It was really bad. I don't, I don't think I still have it. Um, Sam had the one on the GameCube, and he brought it to my house once and never took it back. So technically, I have that one too, but like uh, I haven't really played that one. Mm. But the one on the Connect was bad. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z on Connect was also bad. <laughs> that that did, what what that exists? Yeah yeah. To do a Kamehameha, you have to do it in real life. <laughs> okay, that actually does sound kind of epic. <clears throat> I I wanted it so bad for that reason, and to charge it up, you have to put your arms to your side. <sighs> did you have to yell really loud too? <clears throat> no. Shit. That didn't help. That'd be funny though if that like powered you up faster. If you just screamed. <laughs> it had a mic <laughs> it had a microphone, it would work. It did. People would troll each other and turn off their Xboxes. Oh, Xbox <clears throat> off. Exactly. They would go like, yeah, they would go Xbox off. Yes. <laughs> and then you would see that the other person just dis uh disconnected. Yeah, sorry to all the uh, Xbox One Connect uh, listeners of the podcast here. Oh, yeah. Anybody that's listening on their Xbox One with their Connect plugged in, uh, sorry you had to turn it back on and put the podcast back on and go back to 19 minutes uh, <laughs> for that one. Uh, did you ever play Sonic R? No, but I've heard it's good. It it's um it's I feel like I'm saying every single game is is a uh, every Sonic game is a cult classic, but that one is a is a cult classic. Um, yeah. And now now you're giving me the idea. Maybe I should play that on stream, or you go play it on Sonic stream. Sonic R. Yeah, yeah. Sonic R with a capital R. Um, the music is it racing. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's what that means. Yep. Uh, the Ooh. the music's so good. Like it doesn't, it doesn't deserve to be that good. I don't know. Like it pops off, so good. Um, I implore you, anybody, go on Spotify, Sprint. go on YouTube, just look up Sonic R soundtrack. 
it it slaps. I'm not even gonna imitate it. It slaps, dude. <laughs> yeah. Did you play the Sonic fighting game? Yes, Sonic the Fighters, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> I had uh That game's also bad. It, it's pretty bad, yeah. I I was appreciative that they had like a bajillion of those like Sonic Mega collections on like GameCube and stuff. Oh right. Yeah, so that that helped expose me to all the bajillion Sonic spin-off games. Dong. The fun only... fact. Yeah, what's your fun fact? No, you go first. Well, the only one I have, the only Sonic one I haven't played is the Shuffle. It's like the party game. Oh, on, it's also on GameCube. Is right? it? No shit. Really? Oh, okay. <sighs> well, I don't know. Might be. Or maybe it's on like PlayStation Three. Mm-hmm. Game Grumps played it, I think. Uh, maybe with Super Mega, or maybe it was with Ding Dong. I don't remember. Something in a let's play. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 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 I um anyways, fun fact, in my haunting ground video, the sound effect that I used to uh censor the shit and fuck words was a sonic <laughs> sound effect. Ba-ding. Yeah, I th- I think it was a bumper or it was the checkpoint. I don't remember. It's good. It was one of those things. I like it. And and I quite like that video too. That, that I think was, it was a bumper. It's pretty good. It was popping off, man. I think it was a bumper too. <laughs> uh yeah, that's probably one of my favorite things I've ever made, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it was a really it was really fun. I need to do another one like that. How but long how I'm long thinking, did it take you to make that? Dude, it took like 80 fucking hours. Oh my god. No, actually, it, it was probably f- closer to 40. It was probably like a full work week, you know, because oh. I, I had to stream the game and beat it for footage. Right. So that took like eight hours. And, yeah, I had to record it. I didn't really write a script, which is good, because <clears throat> so the JoJo's video, I wrote a script for, mm-hmm. and I read the script, and it sounded like I was reading a script. Okay. So. I was I was like, I don't want to do that. So I made like 10 bullet points and then I just went off for an hour and a half <laughs> recording and then I cut it down uh, to 50 minutes or so. Yeah, like not, oh, not to like bash stuff. on like a good script for sure, but sometimes if you have writer's block and you just like, oh my God, I can't make this work. I can't focus. Yeah, just make those bullet points and just just YOLO. Just give her. And you'll find I just something. feel like it felt it felt better, more uh, organic. Yeah, because the other one I was like a little bit more monotone. I mean, obviously it was also like the first time I did something like that, but that one also took forever. Uh but I just feel like it. Yeah, it just felt way better. It came out way better for me to just talk as as I am, and I feel like it was funnier too. Um that way because it wasn't like jokes that were written it i mean i had like ideas for some jokes but the uh the funniest parts were me just going yeah you just run away and hear something and then you're fucked like something like that (laughs) where it's like it's building it up and then it's just like uh but you lose like yeah you just lose game over (laughs) yeah i feel like it's just funnier when it rolls off the tongue like that it just sounds better well, there you go, folks. If you haven't seen it already, Eddie Bungetti, the PS2 survival horror game you didn't know about, uh, it's sitting at 768 views. And you, you, <laughs> That's the only good shame. sir or, or madame or somewhere in between, could be the 787th viewer. So keep That's that in true. Mind. That's true. true. Straight facts. No cap. I heard about that. <laughs> Yeah, and the the reason why I, I yesterday I streamed the uh, the Yu Gi Oh game. Oh, is that for the next video? Honestly, I kind of wanted to make my next video about the Yu Gi Oh game. Hell yeah, dude! <sighs> Let me tell you, that game is fucking hard. So this, you said that's the PS one one. <laughs> yes. So Yu Gi Oh Forbidden Memories on the PS one. It's um, it came out before the card game came out. What? So they just they just made up the rules, and it doesn't play like, like the the card game does at all, and it's so it's so hard. Like, 
you don't there's no like sacrificing cards you fuse them together to make better monsters but and without nothing the polymerization that... card no yeah no polymer palm yeah that's a word yeah <laughs> Big one. yeah no polymerization card you just fuse whatever but they don't tell you what fuses with with what so um if you try to fuse two cards and they don't work together it just kicks out the first card and you only have the the second one <laughs> and um then you're down two cards and you you get nothing <laughs> and like the third duel these bitches are busting out monsters that have like 3000 attack and i'm over here with 800 not knowing what to fuse and it's so it's so hard but i guess um i guess i have to grind on the not story mode and build up my deck so how so. do you like by beating other people do you get more cards then yes so i think if you just do like regular duels like against computers you still get cards for your deck and then every time you win you get a card but it's random what you get oh and there's apparently there's only like one set of cards uh in this game that you can have that uh actually allows you to beat the game <laughs> oh like you, because it's, you need them <laughs> yes like you need this exact deck pretty much because otherwise you just won't be able to you just won't be able to win <laughs> that's disgusting so that's cool Jesus. Yeah, like, the the last yeah the last bosses um it's like a one in two hundred chance to beat the last boss or something. You have to get like the perfect hand to start, <laughs> and they're just making up the uh, rules. Uh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't even play like Yu Gi Oh. And then I summon my pot of greed, which allows me to draw three more cards, and one yeah. of those three cards is pot of greed, pot of which greed. allows me. <laughs> And I don't think there's any Exodia either. Oh, you can't just Exodia like auto is... win? Lame. No. So, yeah, I think that's going to be my next thing. And let me tell you, I'm going to have a lot to talk about. Because this game stinks. <laughs> well, if you, if you can stomach that one, I implore you to check out the PS2 one. Oh, what is it called? Du Duel of Roses or so some to do with roses. Duel of Roses. And and I don't Rule think I even got past the tutorial. Like I rented that from the game store and like that complete waste of my money. Could not get anything on that. Yeah. It's I mean, also like understanding those card games as a kid sometimes without like help is tough. But something about these old Yu-Gi-Oh games, man, they're ruthless. Oh yeah. Did, did like, you ever, all right, so the yeah. first duel, you uh, you won by 10 miles. The second duel, you can't do anything. <laughs> Have fun. Good luck. Did you ever play the uh, like the actual Yu-Gi-Oh game? Like with real cards? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did, but we didn't really quite play it correctly. Uh, we never understood how like the, the sacrifice summons worked, so we would just throw cards down. Um <laughs> And also we didn't, we just like, what is it? You can only like summon one monster at a time or per turn or something. Yeah, something like that. Per uh, whatever phase it is. Uh, I don't think we did that. But I also don't remember how we played, to be honest. Um, yeah, I did have a deck. I had the, the Seto Kaiba starter deck. Oh, he got the blue eyes. I got the blue eyes white dragon. Um, So that was fun. And... uh. I also had like a crazy special blue eyes for that came with one of the movies. There was a movie that came out on DVD. It came out, it came with a card. Got the uh, movie it was pretty card, sick. Bro. I had a, I had a dual disc. Brought that shit to show and tell in second grade. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, one day I went to retrieve my dual disc and my deck was missing. What? And I lost my cards. I have no idea where they are. I've never found them. They're gone. You think they were like <laughs> taken? <clears throat> so either they were stolen by some dingleberry or my parents threw them out for some reason, but they didn't throw out the, the dual disc, which wouldn't make sense. I just didn't understand the connection between the two. 
Yeah, but the cards were in the dual disc. I swear they were. I don't know. Those cards are the devil. You know, that Pokemon, <laughs> it'll it'll get you. Yeah. Well, Yu-Gi-Oh! especially. They had to censor so many cards for, like, the, the U.S. audiences. Oh, even the, even the anime. <laughs> I, um, I, I don't think this is, like, spoilers, but I believe... Like, oh yeah! Like Yugi's parents were just like straight up dead, and then in the four kids, like they don't acknowledge it. It's just like, oh hey, grandpa, yeah, free. Yeah, and also, um, <clears throat> when you would lose a duel, you'd get sent to the shadow realm, right? Um, but they actually just died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do remember <laughs> hearing that. There was no shadow realm. The shadow realm was death. Your life points go to zero, and you die. I mean, I guess that's why they're called life points, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that game, uh, I have to fucking grind now, and I'm, I don't want. I don't want to do it. But, well, but I ho- I hope I can uh, tune in for the next stream then. Yeah, I'll make sure it's not on a Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, shameless plug, everybody. Uh, hello, my name is Swan Dizzle, aka Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle. We stream Wednesday evenings typically, uh, except I don't know when this episode will uh, come out. But the first week of April, I will be out of town, so I'll probably do the stream on the weekend before. And we're playing Zelda Ocarina Time Randomizer. It's a real good time. Go check it out. I'm gonna try to get this out literally tomorrow. So, well, there you go. Like, like I'm gonna edit this as soon as we hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, dude. How's that for service? That's why. That's why you check out Eddie Bungetti. You check out the Patreon. You get all the exclusive goodies. I know he said the G word, goodies. It's please, true. I want to. I want to quit my job, please. <laughs> I'll quit my job and I'll give you goodies in exchange. But yeah, there's a lot of goodies it's, out there. <laughs> Hell yeah. There's a lot of goodies over at the Swan Dizzle channel too. Zelda randomizer. It's hover it's boots a- for three weeks. It was brutal, man, and I had to look up like the whatever you call it, the seed. That, he like, cheated. I had to cheat. I I was so good. I was like twenty plus hours in doing it legit, and then I said, you know what? If it's between like getting all one hundred gold skulltulas or or not, like right. I, I don't want to do that. Um, so I I looked up where the hover boots were because it was the last item we needed. And turns out it was in the spirit temple or the desert temple, uh, which makes like no sense. But again, it's a randomizer, right? So had to, yeah. we 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 snooped, we peeked, we saw where that was, went and got him. Was it was it as young Link? No, no, surprisingly okay. not. It, it was like adult Link, like uh, like way at like deep into the dungeon, like when you get to like the very top, pretty much. Um, gotcha. Because I I remember when I was in that chat, I was like. Did you try Young Link Spirit Temple? And everyone's like, and I'm like, yes, I already, I did that like three episodes ago. Damn yeah, it! I just, I just wanted to make sure. Yep. You yep. didn't get, you didn't get caught lacking. That's you true. Missed it. I, but honestly, I, I appreciate the engagement with like yourself and everybody else in the in the comment section because that that's what like makes the stream really exciting. Because also like my my dead ass has played Ocarina of Time like maybe what 10, 12 times. And there's still stuff that I just can't be bothered to like commit to memory. So it, it's really handy oh, when, yeah. when the chat's like, oh, did you check this grotto? How about this grotto? Oh, did you do this thing? Did you do this thing? And and uh, like most of the time, it's very helpful. And, and then we progress and then we all get to keep watching. So it's fun stuff. I saw on TikTok the other day that there's a co op mod for yeah. Ocarina of Time that just came out. Yeah. And well, it might not have just come out, but it it's out there and and Anthony has has brought it up to me too. Anthony from Sexy Studios. That's so funny. Yeah. He's he's a streaming machine, man. He's got a lot of Zelda stuff on, but he says we should do uh Ocarina <laughs> of Time multiplayer and eventually can I will there, figure out how to do it. Can there be 3 people, you think? Shucks, there could probably be 4, maybe. Damn, that'd be crazy. We'll have to st- try to we'll have to look into it and maybe schedule something yeah because I, I know for sure there's like a, a twilight princess co-op and that i think you can definitely get up to four oh. players so i'm sure somebody has figured it out i just have to actually sit down and look at it good 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 to know good to know good good G-G-G. yeah he uh 
he sent me a Anthony Sexy Studios. Uh, this S E C H S Y Studios. Uh, he sent me the the guidebook for Metal Gear Solid Four. <laughs> What? That I I guess he was just at like a a thrift shop or something and he saw it and he thought of me so he bought it and <laughs> sent it to me. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Which is awesome. Thank you. Um I um I'll probably make like a formal thing like, "Oh, thanks for sending this to me." But I I'm going to I'm going to wait, I think, for something cuz you sent me a shirt and he sent me that. And I think I just want to make like a thank you thing <laughs> once I have everything together. But what, whatever yeah. works, man. MGS4 was was really cool. That was the <laughs> only reason I got a PlayStation 3. But yeah. uh, worth it. It's uh I it's the only one I don't own. So there's that. Well, at least well, you have the, the only guide ma- now. <laughs> yeah, the, the only mainline one I don't own, I guess I should say. Yeah, for sure. Who's playing Metal Gear Acid? It's not me. Yeah, like I don't have like the VR missions or Peace Walker or uh, 1 and 2 techni- like Metal Gear 1 and 2. Oh, like the, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. They might be available on something that I have, but are they on like the, yeah, they might be on one of like the collectors for like the old ones, like the, the uh, PlayStation trilogy. I think maybe yeah. in MGS3 there's uh, some versions that have uh, Metal Gear 1 oh, and 2 slapped in I it. think you're right. I think you're right, yeah. Which I don't know if mine does or not. Mine has Ape Escape mode, though. <gasps> Ape Escape. So that's cool. It's freaking epic. He goes, monkeys. <laughs> Colonel's like, yes. Why are these <laughs> apes escaping? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you need know to halt their hate. escape. These Apes are escaping. Colonel, the monkeys have avoided drowning. But yeah, uh, so that's really cool. That's Stay sick, tuned, dude. everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Sexy Studios Anthony. Yeah. Uh, I got to send him something. I have some ideas. I think I might send him something coffee related. Ooh. I might send him some good local coffee or something. Or, uh, or a mug. Like yours. Yeah, that was pretty sick. I I do have a morning coffee in there. <clears throat> I just have to uh, pack it nicer. <laughs> mm, mm. Another uh, shameless plug. Uh, Eddie sent me a schwack load of American snacks. And I have an unboxing yeah. video of me eating all of those <clears throat> snacks. Very delicious. Um, Bro. Except the su- Sukunus finger dude was... It, I, <laughs> it was, I knew it was, it was a meme. Be bad. It was I, a meme. Yeah. I just saw it at oh yeah five below is a store also oh where they sell stuff for five dollars and below but like, they don't do that anymore like a dollar store but it's not it's a five below <laughs> store but it might be more yeah. than five now yeah now they have five and above <laughs> some stuff there's always some ploy there, there was one in town that used to be called always a dollar and then they just named it always a dollar plus Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go. But uh, anyway, yeah, anything. check out that video. And uh, I haven't sent Please anything do. yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm making a list <laughs> and I'm checking it twice of some Canadian <laughs> snacky foods to send over to you. I think that's what I'm waiting for. I think I'll make a, a, a thank you for the, the shirt and the, I guess you also sent me a magnet or was it? Was it a magnet? Uh, yeah, fridge magnet from uh, yeah. Vancouver. Yeah, I have it over here. Um, and then, yeah, he sent me that. And I think if you send me the a package like that and I make a video about it, I'll just group it all in one. Whatever. Sick. Uh, uh, you know, I, I don't want to spoil too many of the snacks, but can I can I ask you if you have these things? I don't I don't think you do, but I just want to <laughs> double check like three of three of them. Okay. Do you, do you have a crispy crunch? No. Mr. Big. I don't believe so. No. <laughs> okay. Um and uh now I'm I was a little confused reading. Do you guys have O Henry? I don't think so. Shit. All right. There o Henry. 
Oh, Henry, baby. Uh, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to look into it. I'm going to forget all of those things. Maybe not Mr. Big. I'll probably remember Mr. Big. But... <laughs> all right. Well, we got some shopping to do then. Yeah. I'm excited for the all dressed chips. Oh, they're goaded, dude. Best chips. It's, it is. I, I did really, I did, uh, I think I got a good smorgasbord of stuff that I sent you. I feel like I sent you too many, too many things, but that's okay. Always, always okay. <laughs> I ate those freaking uh, turkey chips like way, <laughs> way longer than I thought. It was just like every couple of days, I'd just be like, ooh, yeah, I want that again. I wish I got one for myself because it was like a limited time Thanksgiving <gasps> thing at Aldi. Aldi's nuts. Exactly. You got to do the popping cooking, dude. I do. I still have it on my desk. I'm so confused. You have to do it. You opened up one of them, one I of did. the packets. I did. You got to seal the back up, but. Yeah. Okay. The, good. I, I was gonna He's ask like, you how to do it, but I just powder. I gotta read it. This is powder. I don't. Know. How is this food? I thought it was the like the little gummy <laughs> burgers, dude. I was. I got trolled. Oh, oh. I got trolled. You, man. Uh, you're in for something. It's it's popping, dude. <laughs> I'll tell you, it is labeled as candy. Um. Sure. However. <laughs> sure. Whatever. Whatever you say, Mister Bungetti. Sure. Sure. However. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to see the pop and cooking. I love watching people do this. It's it's pretty easy. It's just water, and I you do need a microwave for this one. But oh, okay, so it's not like boiled water. You you do like <clears throat> no you microwave. So it. yeah, you should just get like a setup going with like maybe uh, a wide cam and then like a hand cam or something, okay. or like a, a table cam, and you just need like a a glass of water. And then uh, move over to the microwave whenever you have to use that. But, I'm on it, coach. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be a good time. <coughs> so excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you... So, yeah, you liked the Charleston shoes. I, I did, they're not believe my, it or not. They're not my favorite. It might just be because, like, I'm not a big marshmallow guy because I think technically it's marshmallow covered in like shitty chocolate, but yeah. Can't believe you had a Mr. Beast bar without me. I know. I know, dude. I was in, uh, I was in Portland. I was visiting Oregon and, uh, we, we had them, but the, now this is what I, I'm looking to get my, my filthy little paws on. I understand they've, they've updated the Mr. Beast bars. <clears throat> yeah, they did it like. A month after I sent that one to you. Yeah, and they're like, they're like feastables, <clears throat> and they're like, are they only in Walmarts, or just Walmarts like the big place to find them? I mean, as far as I know, it's only in Walmarts. You might be able to buy like cases or something online. Um, I've only had one of the new recipe, and it was like dark chocolate sea salt, and that was pretty good. Pretty good? All right. It was pretty good. I I saw videos where he would like Mr. Beast would go into Walmarts, find it like not on the shelves, and like demand people yeah. go into the back to like face the stores. They just, I guess they just weren't stocking them. Little, um, little did they know it's going to sell out in minutes. Right. Well, some stores, uh, I guess, were having trouble selling them, but other stores, yeah, they just weren't. He just was there all day <laughs> stocking the shelves for them. So I don't know. It's Sell my shit, please. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you pay to be in the stores, like you should probably have your products out there. I suppose. But yeah, it's it's good. I'm excited for whenever you get a something put together though. It'll, it's coming. I get I, I'll be uh I'll be in Asia. In in May, so I should get all my stuff mm. together for April and ship it out to you. We'll we'll get working on it. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no rush. But I mean, if you're gonna be out of the country for weeks, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get get your shit together. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 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 do that though. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So but, yeah, uh, yeah yeah yeah. Anyway, you you wanted to talk about uh, some of the new video games coming <laughs> out, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2. There's some controversy that apparently you don't know about. I must live under a rock because I thought uh, there was already a, a Dragon's Dogma 2. 
<laughs> but maybe uh, I'm thinking of something else. What's the other one? It's got the red. It's the red text dragon, on the white. Dragon Age. Oh sh. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Dragon Age. Dragon Age Origins. Is that what they call it? Dra dragon Age Two. So not Dragon's Dogma. Tell me what the hell. What is Dragon's I think Dogma? There's both. And what is Dragon Dogma Two? And why is uh, there controversy? Dragon's Dogma is uh, like an RPG um, by Capcom. And I guess it plays kind of like Monster Hunter mixed with like Elder Scrolls kind of thing. It's like third person. Um, I've never played it. But the controversy, and, and people have been going back and forth between this, is in the, the microtransactions. Ew. Ew. Don't, don't put microtransactions in my RPG, please. <clears throat> So this is a single player uh, RPG with microtransactions, um, and Capcom has been pretty stinky with these, uh, period lately. But this one like really blew up because, uh, it well it really blew up. I guess it's a little bit misinformed, but also not super misinformed but so you can only have one character at a time and if you want to change your character's appearance um or anything about your character you either have to delete them completely and make a new save because you can only have one save what? it's 2024 <laughs> what are we doing why <clears throat> or you could buy an item that lets you change that stuff about your character oh with I real see. world money now, apparently, uh, in the game, you can actually grind for whatever these coins are to to do this, but I guess it's not, like, easy. I'm sure and it's not. <laughs> there's also, like, you can revive characters, I guess. Like, I think party members can die, and uh, you can spend $2 to revive them, but same thing, you can get it in the game... I guess uh, it didn't most of the people that were outraged didn't know <laughs> that you could get it in the game oh. but there's also like weapons that you can buy um, <clears throat> that don't state that they're also available in the game so you can buy weapons and then later toward the end of the like later in the game maybe not toward the end but later you can unlock them and it's like well I just wasted my money <laughs> on this I hate that, so, man. People are upset. Um, yeah, you probably shouldn't have microtransactions, and you should also be able to make more than one character. They have like this super in-depth character creator that like people have made so many amazing characters out of, and like you can just have one. You can only have one and play with them. Like that's like, if, crazy. If the excuse For a was single like, player, yeah, like if the excuse was like, oh, like. Your, your one character takes up like so many gigabytes of whatever one why is it so big uh that's that's what what they said um but but two yeah <laughs> like yeah no it just it makes no sense like don't you want people nah. to be playing your game more i don't know yeah no they're just selfie selfish and stingy Ooh. i combine those two words um Goofy. but capcom's been pretty stinky about that anyways because like <clears throat> Resident Evil games, Resident Evil 4 remake, you could pay to have more items on your map, like more treasures that you can sell. What? Yeah. So, it's just been like really bad lately, like period. Um <clears throat> so I'm glad the topic's up. Especially like it's really bold of them to have that come out when Elden Ring got game of the year, no microtransactions. Or like Baldur's, uh, Gate 3 Baldur's Gate, yeah. Got Game of the Year, no microtransactions. In both of those games, you can make as many characters as you want. <clears throat> it's just insane. But you know, it, it is funny, because like, if you build it, they will come. I bet you, I bet you they're still making a lot of money off those microtransactions. Everybody goes, no, no way, I hate this, this is the worst, and then they still buy it. Their character dies, and they're like, "Well, I'm not going to grind for four hours to revive them. Yep. Guess I'll spend two dollars. <laughs> Pay up." Yeah, so that's the that's the big controversy. Hopefully, uh, maybe it changes things, but it probably won't. 
Yeah, man, that's it. It does get kind of stinky. Like I remember even back in the day where they were talking about like DLC, but like the the content was like in the game already. Like, uh, do you guys do you remember it was Soul Calibur Four? So like, if you had it on PS3, Soul Calibur, yeah, Soul Calibur Four. So if if you had it on PS3, you could play as Darth <clears throat> Vader. If you had it on Xbox, you could play as Yoda. Yoda. But then they they did the data mining, and like both characters were on both game discs already from the beginning. But you had to pay to be able to play as the opposite characters on whatever console. <clears throat> But yeah, I get, that one's ugh. that one's tricky because I understand the whole uh, shtick of Soul Calibur is you buy it on a different console, you get the other character, right? Um, the exclusive. So I sure. would, I would almost argue it would be better to not have them available at all, <laughs> like the <laughs> the the the, X, the Darth Vader on Xbox, like just. Uh, just nope, tease them. only. You, you don't. You don't need Yoda versus Darth Vader. Just, just tease them. But, yeah. but I guess the difference being with that to what we're seeing now is like the micro. It's a different character. Well, <laughs> yeah. But with the microtransaction, they they were never trying to 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 tell you that it's additional content. They're just like this content exists. You want it, you pay for it. Right. So, gross. Yeah, either I mean, way. it makes sense. It makes sense to have them on eat both discs because then you won't be really uh may it'd be a lot more work to manufacture two different data sets or whatever for two different discs just um just completely note, different speaking about yoda have you seen that tiktok <clears throat> where it's like the vr chat but like it's yoda at the bar yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> oh my god i lost it you know I, I don't know if just the, my brain chemistry is off and not a lot of things make me laugh anymore but that that hit me. <laughs> Beer I need. Chat clips. Beer yeah, I need. Are always so funny. Keys I must find. Yeah. <laughs> Get this man some keys. Oh no. <laughs> Took the kids. She did. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I did see that. Oh, it's great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. When I, when VR chat first came out, I used to watch compilations all the time. There was like a, I think the channel was like OMG compilations or some shit. They yeah they would have so many that would just be so funny. Yeah, the <laughs> knuckles the right. Guy. Show me the way. That was yeah that was huge. That was a good month. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? It was uh, a good month of May. <clears throat> I have a I have a couple of VR chat videos on my channel. Do you? I'm gonna have to do some snooping. They're uh I we didn't play in VR and they're like not really good quality videos, but they're there. Is is it on <laughs> Bungetti? It is, yes. All right. I will investigate. <laughs> yeah. I um yeah, I don't know. Video games nowadays are just eh. They're good, but I don't know, sometimes they just do stupid things that just don't make any sense. Like in Final Fantasy, uh, uh, part two, seven, part two. As far as is Final Fantasy seven re remake, the squeakquel. Well, let me tell you. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there is not a single microtransaction to be had in Final Fantasy That's seven re remake. Birth, uh, the squeakquel. And yeah, wait. Uh, so there was there was a rebirth. Was that the one that was like the the prequel? Of like crisis core stuff. Oh god, or... no. Okay, Let, I would be happy to explain <laughs> my limited Final Fantasy knowledge. So, uh, <laughs> okay, all right, Gongaga, Gongaga. So there, there's Final Fantasy Crisis Core, and that is that is the prequel of the whole Final Fantasy VII storyline. There's yes. like a mobile game. I think it's called like Ever Ever Crisis or something. That's even like a prequel, prequel, prequel. But we're not even gonna go there. Nobody cares. Okay. So you you do Crisis Core, you figure out uh, Zach's story. That's like the cloud with the black hair who has the sword. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and then, uh, like I say, that's the prequel. So then you get to Final Fantasy VII. Now, for everybody who doesn't remember, Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation <laughs> One, it was a big game. It was a thick boy. Okay, and it it took three PlayStation discs. 
okay to to complete three. that game three wow so like you would get to a certain point in the story and then it would just like cut to black and be like please answer this too um so uh if i remember correctly final fantasy 7 remake takes you to i want to say it's the end of disc one but it, it might even be before that but basically it, it takes you out of like the the first world and it and it ends right before you hit the uh the open world and that's where final fantasy yes. 7 rebirth comes in and i believe i haven't finished it and i don't want to spoil anything but i believe that game will take you to the end of disc 2 damn yeah didn't they they remade crisis core there right they did they did and um like it, it's the the same writing Recently. and story i mean a lot of people are pissed i guess zach's voice actor is different um, yeah <laughs> I, I, I totally didn't even know don gaga i don't care um sorry uh hardcore fans but but the coolest thing about the Me? uh Gongaga. remake <laughs> yeah I, I think eddie could definitely voice uh new zach for sure hit me up hit me up square square so the the coolest thing about the crisis core remake or remaster i guess i don't know where do you draw that line but they do use assets from remake so like it, it's not it's not just like psp graphics upscaled but it's like actually new character models and yeah well it, the end of it looks spoilers good. for the remake uh part one um but Zach just shows up. So they had his model. <laughs> they made his model. It's true. They they had that ready to ready to go, right? Right out the get go. Which is weird that he shows up. It's I'm not it's sure why. Very weird. And uh I'm not look, I have done every <laughs> little side quest thing you could possibly do up to this point. I am like thirty hours in and uh I, I still don't know. I have no clue okay. what's going on. But I'm along for the ride. I'm liking it. Yeah. Uh, Rebirth, all I've seen is that there's so much fluff and filler, though. I don't... Maybe that's just my limited opinion because I haven't played the game. But I've seen that there's just so much, like, just dicking around. Objectively, it is, that's so true. But, like... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe it's like the nostalgia goggles on on too tight or something like that. But I, I am like totally here for it. Um, I would relate it in the same way of like people who like One Piece. Like One One Piece, it goes slow. Okay. No, no. Okay. Seri seriously, listen to me. Like it, it just it goes slow and it just drags <laughs> on. But like I'm here for every second of it. I just it's I have so it. much fun being a part of that okay. world and being okay. with this team of people that I don't give a shit what we do. Like if Cloud like, wants to go to like Whole Foods and look for avocados, <laughs> like I'm I'm there for it. Put me in. Let's go. Why so, do they have to have the soccer mini game? I that one I I actually didn't know that was a thing until we did it. Like I had no like no spoilers. Um I I can't tell you why, but I can tell you the the okay. the fluff that I know so far. Um, so you, you start out, uh, oh God, now I'm blanking. There's like the dolphin mini game where it's like wave race 64, oh. but you're like riding oh. a dolphin. Um, you get to ride the chocobo, uh, you do some chocobo races, freaking yeah, you do the, uh, the rocket league, uh, red 13, uh, mission. Um, you get to play the piano, which is actually like very that's Com cool. complex like you can you can change all the octaves and the keys but then it also gives you yeah. like uh you can collect sh uh sheet music as you go along and it's kind of like playing guitar hero but it's i guess piano Whoa. hero yeah um i don't know like it to me just being in that world is so fun and the other thing to highlight too is the while it's while people think it's fluff and they think it's filler um a lot of those missions is where you you get a lot of the character building and and if you skip those those side missions like you you wouldn't even know it like there there's this stupid yeah i will say it it's a stupid mission <laughs> where you're escorting a dog from one town to the next town because the mission is stupid but it, yeah the dog's name is salmon don't ask me why but the, the salmon nice. has like a bunch of cash like strapped to its collar 
and and you're supposed to deliver the mom's cash to the son in the neighboring town but for some reason the dog has to be the one to carry the cash and you have to protect him from all these like enemies uh. yeah yeah but but then like the entire mission as you go along uh big barrett over there he's like having this existential crisis about like oh like when my daughter grows up like you know i just want to like take care of her and i don't mm, want to be like exposed okay. to the the harsh cruelties of the world <laughs> but also i want her to like fly and like do her own thing like you you just like you have to dive into every little bit to to get everybody's story you know Barrett, you're a terrorist <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's have a look in the mirror for a second here i mean it's for a good cause i guess i guess but it's for the captain planet you know we're just <laughs> yeah just trying to save save the earth yeah i suppose that's true i haven't played this one I um I watched somebody play the first the, the remake part one yeah um uh, but I I just um, have not really been too interested in in this one maybe also because like <clears throat> just like buying a game nowadays just feels like so much so much more of a a commitment because well, like who knows if it's gonna be yeah it's expensive and like who knows if it's gonna be good and. So I've I've been buying a lot less games lately. Fair enough. Finish uh you know finish the ones you have if you like them. Go do that. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. Speaking of card games, uh, Jesus, there there is another uh side game inside Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's called <laughs> Queen's oh. Blood. Okay. Yeah, and I I'm not good at describing it, but basically, uh, every card that you have in your deck. Um, has like a certain number of points tied to them so you have to like place down more cards that have higher points and then you just win i don't know google it look it up on youtube uh but it's strangely addictive once you figure it out um and i would argue it's probably way way easier than your ps1 Yu-Gi-Oh game so i i have not rage quit yet yeah does it play like uh kind of like war um the, well war like is just one card at a time right like the actual game we're talking? yeah and it's and it's random like you just pick it off from the top of the deck yeah so no this this one you have like a deck of five cards and every time you place a card you get to draw another one um but it it's like also so the cards have uh strength points associated with them but also uh some cards are like more powerful than others and, and have different abilities whether it like um, you know, increases the strength of a neighboring card or removes uh, a card oh. uh, that's beside you too. Um, so yeah, th basically the game kind of like tells you how to play okay. it, but you, you start out with like a, a one pawn space. And then if you place the right card and then you get access to a two pawn space, then you can play a two pawn card and then a three and, and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, it, I, 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 it's not like super cool how they shoehorn it into the story, but the game itself is like strangely addictive. It's very fun. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm not opposed to games having all of that stuff. And I'm sure you don't have to like, you don't really have to play it all that much. You have to, I mean, I'm sure you have to do it like once. Because even the first one, you had to do like the exercise mini game. <laughs> yeah, and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I understand world building and stuff, but me personally uh i just want to get to the i just want to go you know that's fair so you know, the I, the I, soccer I, mini game i'd probably have less fun with the piano one sounds cool that one's pretty dope yeah <clears throat> so maybe maybe after i play through uh rebirth on my own and plug like 100 plus hours into doing every single side quest maybe i should play it again but like purposely try to avoid every single side quest and just see how fast we can beat it. That might be a, a fun see, little challenge. See what's necessary and what's not necessary to like get story stuff, you know? Yeah. But I will say, uh, story aside, the the combat is actually like super fun. Like like it, it's addictive. Is it just different? Every every two seconds your brain lights up and you're like, Oh now I can use this guy to use this spell and use this guy to use this ding, special. Ding, 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 ding. And yeah, like it just it, it, it hits tingles my brain in all the right places. Did you put 
that outfit on Tifa when you're at the beach? Uh, you know the one. <laughs> did you know that there's two different outfits? But did you put the outfit on Tifa? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but it, and, It's kind and, of the law. It, it is kind <laughs> of like obligatory. And what, what's worse, though, is you put that on and then you uh, Tifa has a side mission where the guy who was going to play at the piano recital at the hotel, like, bailed. So then, like, they ask you to play the piano. And it, it just um, didn't seem to be, like, the most appropriate attire. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you didn't think to like maybe change real quick before. No, they were like you you're going on stage in 5, buddy. You got to go. They always got to they always got to put cloud in those situations where he's like ah, Here it's, we go again. It's such a meme. It is such a meme just put, putting cold cloud in uncomfortable situations. I saw um I saw a tweet where somebody was like Cloud versus Leon, who's winning the tur- the twerk off? <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, my money's on Cloud solely for the reason that he won't want to do it, but once he gets into it, and like if if he has to win for some reason, he will he'll do it. He'll win. Oh, absolutely, he will. And uh, they already made him dance in the first uh, remake, where you go to like the brothel. And then you'd play like a little like Dance Dance Revolution like mini game thing. I forgot about that. He's good. He's he's a he's a dancer. He's a card right. player. He's a he's a uh, Segway driver. Jack um, of all trades. That's also so silly. I love the it, scooters. It's so it looks, stupid. It looks so bad. Yeah, and I mean, and it's what really else like, could you do to make it look good? But like, it it really makes the is this Unreal Engine? I think it's Unreal Engine. It makes <laughs> it shine because there's like semi destructible environments. <laughs> so you hop on the wheelie and you just crash into everything and like blow up all these tables and chairs. God, it, okay, it sounds a little bit more fun now. See, you got me. Yeah, if I've if I haven't sold you yet, maybe I should just play the game instead of whining. Yeah, just play the drive the wheelie cart. I'll do that. Did you like my drawing? <laughs> yeah, it, that's you. I I I was like, is that supposed to be me? <laughs> that's you. I'm putting it in the thumbnail. So yeah. Ethan said he was going to be a half hour late. So I was like, you know what? Let me spruce. Let me jazz oh. up the thumbnail. Oh, that's so I nice. drew a I drew a dopey version of myself and then a dopey version of you. I like and it. like they're not they're not perfect because I like sp- speed ran that, but it'll do. No, you're a very talented <laughs> artist. Never, never, never like sell yourself short. I think it looks hella cute. I feel like uh, my my hair is so goofy that it just it it's a different like every time I wake up, it's just something yeah. different. <laughs> But I, I most definitely have had that hairstyle before, so I will, I will own it <laughs> absolutely. Yeah the the middle part is uh is pretty big. I did, I did it's, basically have that though last uh, last summer. I got a perm. I tried to get the the Korean oh. perm. Dang, Swan Dizzle with a perm. It was it was fun <clears> while it lasted, <throat> but uh, would I do it again? I don't. I don't know. It looks great, but then you're like, am I literally just like frying my hair? And and I know I will not have this hair forever. Right. So I'm like, oh, I just want to like keep it on my head. I'm terrified of my hairline like receding. God, what's uh I I believe don't don't think I might this. be good. I believe you look at your grandpa. Did your grandpa your grandpa on your mom's <laughs> side? On your mom's side? Yeah, I thought it was your dad's. Oh shit. It might, might be, be your, it's one of those. Well, how's it looking? Actually, actually, it might be, it might be mom's side. Uh, my grandpa on my mom's side had gray hair. Hell yeah. it was like thick and it didn't really gray until he was like really old. <clears throat> um, so that's good. I and think like, you're set, dude. I think I'm okay. I think also he had like really thick black hair too. Um, Shree. but he... I think also they say like once you reach a certain age, if your hairline hasn't like gone to shit, like you're good. 
Yeah. I don't know what that age is, but I think I'll, I think I'll be okay. <clears throat> like I have a, I have a little bit of a white guy hairline. I won't lie, but it's not the I worst. Think you'll be just fine. I think I'll be good. And it's, it's really, it's, it's just the corners. Yeah. That, like, uh, I hear are you. a little thin. Like I know? noticed with COVID, like, like I was like turning like <clears throat> whatever, 25, 26. And I was like, Oh, there's, there's the temples, man. But the top's still looking okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, the front the front still looks good, and I can I can yeah. cover up yeah. whatever and looks you know, a little iffy. This is speaking as a as a pharmacist. This is not medical advice, but as a pharmacist, the the drugs work. But like, if you want to do Rogaine, like you are doing that for the rest of your life. Like the second you stop, it's it's no bueno. It, it's forever. Done. And then you know you could do like the finasteride or dutasteride or whatever. And that's cool, but then there's a lot of side effects associated with it as well, so it's pros and cons. Okay. I know a lot of, like, the the programs, too, that you can get into. Um, it's, like, it it keeps the hair that you have, like, it, it stops it from getting worse, but it doesn't magically grow back your hair unless you that use, like, out. Rogaine yeah. or whatever on top yeah. of it all. And that's a lot. Mean, meanwhile, um, I found some, like hair oil thing on like amazon prevention that like has no no evidence behind it but i'm like ah well it's not gonna hurt might might try it see what happens i mean i hear that uh what is it rosemary oil i don't remember what it rosemary is rosemary oil the, argan oil yeah i've heard that some, different some oils, oils yeah. some oils help i uh i did notice like beard oil when I mm. when I put beard oil on my beard for like a few months, uh, I did notice it was. I mean, it was thicker. Like it, I feel like it it filled up a little bit. It might have also just been because like I was aging, but it my beard did fill in a little bit. Like it, it finally started to connect my mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, that took a long ass time. So get those corners. Yeah. So who knows? I'm not, this who isn't, knows? This it's isn't, not medical yeah, advice. No. But you could, <laughs> I was just about you could to definitely say that. Definitely try it. Ask your doctor. Ask your pharmacist. It's a team sport. Yeah. Also, beard oil is like growing a beard is different from growing like head hair. So it's not exactly the same. It's a little stubbly. Yeah, it's a little different. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think this is a good. Good time to end it off here. I have to edit Hell this yeah, shit buddy. before I go to bed. It's 9 p.m. Oh my god, yeah, right. The time change is crazy. I have to get up at 6 Ooh. for work. Ew, that would be like 4 a.m. over here. Yeah, support the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> but like, seriously. But yeah, no, actually though. Uh, so uh, do you have anything going on, Swan Dizzle? Uh, just streams for now until yeah, you, until your yeah, vacations every, are over and work pretty much every yeah working and stuff every Wednesday tune in if it's not going to be on a Wednesday make sure you stay followed on on the socials the Instagrams the TikToks the YouTubes uh, and then we'll let you know when we're streaming next I want to finish the Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer I think I got one more episode in the tank and then we finished that right because you're and then I'm Castle. Yeah, we're again. It's Castle now. I'm debating what we are gonna do next. I got lots of ideas. I've had a few people in the chat say, "Do Elden Ring, do Elden Ring," and I just I know that I'm so so bad at all the Souls games. Um, I don't think we're gonna get very far, but who knows? That might be the fun part, right? So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, yeah, check out the YouTube. I have told myself the goal for 2024 is to have two like legitimate videos per month on the channel. Um, and cooking. It's variety. Like it, it could be a bunch of different stuff. Um, but uh, you know, you, you never know. I got one that's talking about like uh, how you can utilize your library to like rent video games. If you're lucky and you have that there, um, how, how to have a good skincare regimen for gamers. 
like yes yes talking about like getting all philosophical being like what's your happiness level do you have to complete your backlog if you don't really care about it maybe you that's should go a good do one. like other productive things with your life so it, it's been fun um so you know what stay tuned man and then also um i have several shit posts of my experiences across the land of final fantasy 7 rebirth and the little snippets bring me joy and i hope they bring you joy too yeah, if you're interested in some of the stuff that we talked about, the segue and the soccer, those are those are on there. I do believe, right? It's it's a good time, baby. Yeah, it, it, that's right. It, it's on there, and if it's not already, I have a schwack load of them all queued up. And I always hum and haw, like, God, do I just like really shorts daily or every couple of days? So they're there somewhere. If you stay subscribed, you get notifications. You they'll come. You'll see Hit that ding dang bell. Ding dong, ring a dang dong. <laughs> we're the champions. Oh yeah, crazy frog. Potentially, uh, Ocarina of Time co-op or multiplayer. Uh, I would be down to clown. Stream. Also, Elden Ring does have a a mod called the Seamless Co-op mod, where you can play Ooh. two player. Oh, well, maybe so. you'll have to. Maybe you can save me <clears throat> and get me out of there. Yeah, we might have to check it out we probably won't beat the game like that because the game is very long but you can play a little bit um sounds good just to at least get you more familiar <laughs> yeah dude the the last one i tried to play was uh bloodborne i think was the furthest i got into any of them and then i bought demon's souls like the ps5 remaster yeah. and i just got <laughs> trashed in the first five minutes the blindfolded dark souls video was fun i want to do another one of those yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I got some constructive criticism in the comments. Somebody, oh god, somebody said that. Uh, <clears throat> no, it, it was constructive for the most part, but somebody said that they have a hard time believing videos like that because, like, nobody shows like what the actual setup is or like how effective the blindfold is. Yada yada yada. Mm. Um. <clears throat> so next time I might get like an actual eye mask. But I like the JoJo's okay. tie because it looks cool. So I might still put that on top. And um, Hell yeah. uh, also cover the screen or whatever so people can rest assured. I mean, not that like <laughs> I'm showing the screen, but. You could get like a third cam or a second camera, third camera, where it's like, it's just like the corner of your bedroom and like you're not even looking at the screen anymore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just make it like really far away. The opposite end of the. <laughs> the bedroom just my back <laughs> and put that in one of the corners of the video too there you go yeah so yeah fun stuff coming up um thanks ethan for joining i know it was short notice i was like damn i need to i, I gotta put something out uh i wonder if <laughs> swan dizzle will record with me <laughs> anytime anytime mr bungetti i i was really busy with work i had uh i was precepting two young budding pharmacy students uh mm -hmm. the last uh, two months so that had the bulk of my time but i'm uh dobby is a is a free free pharmacy boy elf whatever after so. next week <laughs> yeah after next week after next week yeah so all righty thank you ethan swan dizzle everybody check him out of course you've heard his shtick thank uh <clears throat> thank you thank you if you like what you listen to uh, consider subscribing, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell us if you uh, like Sonic games and Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, Dragon's Dogma and Final Fantasy and uh, libraries. P please engage with the video. <laughs> I love libraries. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.